So I want to tell you guys a story. And it's a story about how you shouldn't always listen to those around you and possibly change the kind of people you surround yourself with if you have dreams and aspirations. Before I tell you that story, I have to head out because I have a meeting at 10 a.m. at a coffee shop with the director of engineering at a local software shop that is one of the bigger like software companies in the area and they just got acquired by a huge company so it's a decent opportunity i don't think it's not like necessarily an interview it's like a casual conversation i don't know that it'll necessarily lead to a job like right now but there's no reason to turn down a meeting with somebody like him i'm always down for a good conversation especially when it comes to development and i'm not one to refuse an opportunity to have those kind of conversations the importance of networking is always important even if it doesn't lead to something for five years at least we've had like a face-to-face -face meeting now and if something comes up in the near future or in the long term he knows me so i would say if you ever have the opportunity to meet somebody with an important role for a career that you want take it take it and take it again because there's no real downside to it so i have this like problem i don't know personality quirk i guess where if i'm not running like 20 to 30 minutes early to something i feel like i'm running desperately late and that's the situation that i'm in right now so i need to hurry up but i also want to get rid of this like weird thing in my mind like i am definitely on time but i feel like i'm not so i have this like anxiety about being late like what if something happens but i'm fine I'm fine. So you guys remember that time that I said I am anxious about things when I'm not 20 minutes early to something and I was feeling that way on the way to this meeting? Well, fun fact, it's 9.40 and the meeting's at 10. So I was actually 20 minutes early and I even had to stop to get gas because my gas light was on, which is something that I don't like to drive on. Time to pay for parking and go get a coffee and set up shop and meet. So we finish up the coffee meeting and I was kind of wrong. Like it is for like a real opportunity like right now as opposed to just kind of meeting face to face as a favor to someone, which is super awesome. Uh, the company that I met with, they're like a really cool company. They do like real world work that has real revenue. Like it's a big company. They make money. They're not like a startup that's in debt that you have to worry about your paychecks or anything like that. Um, but they're still kind of ran in a startup-y way. They're still small enough to be personable and not be some giant corporate conglomerate, right? So it's a really exciting opportunity. I am supposed to hear back from the other place that I had an interview with yesterday sometime this week, and things are just kind of looking up. So yeah, that's exciting. Job stuff is going well right now. This is what I've walked into in the house. Mass chaos. Someone has eaten the flowers. So anybody else out there with cats, do you guys happen to know a good way to keep them from eating flowers? Because it seems to be Leo's absolute favorite pastime. Yeah, I'm talking about you. All right, so we've cleaned up the Leo mess of flowers, and now it is time to start editing the vlog from yesterday. And I'm gonna do that, and then I'll catch you guys after. All right, so I recorded this whole video on Tuesday. That's what everything before this was. And it's now Black Friday and I was editing this video because the story that I'm about to tell you happened on Black Friday. But all of the footage from me telling that story is super messed up and not usable. So here I am on Black Friday telling you a story about Black Friday. Also, since we're here now, I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving if you're in the US and you're celebrating that sort of thing. And if you're not, I hope you've had a really good week so far. My Thanksgiving was fantastic. I went to my wife's family's house and we ate lots and lots and lots of food as you're supposed to, and then watched basketball and football as you're supposed to. So it was pretty much a great day.
my story. I used to work at Target. I worked in retail for a long time. One of the retail jobs that I had was working at Target. And while I was working at Target for the two years I was there, I spent Black Friday at Target as Target employees do because everybody works Black Friday. When I worked at Target, we opened up at four in the morning on Black Friday, not at six o'clock on Thursday night. And I was very thankful for that. However, this story isn't about the fact that working on Black Friday in retail sucks. This story is about a 19 year old Aaron. And 19 year old Aaron worked at this Target during Black Friday when they had a sale on a camera. And it wasn't like a great camera, it wasn't a DSLR, but it was this like $400 point and shoot camera that they had on sale for 50% off, it was 200 bucks. And I didn't have a ton of money at the time, I wasn't, I was still in school and working part time at Target. So like the bills got paid, but nothing really great like savings wise. But I decided that I wanted this camera because it was a really good deal and I had wanted a camera for a really long time. I also got super lucky that day because we got sent too many of these cameras, like a hundred too many. And so like while we were busy during Black Friday, we weren't busy enough to sell all of those cameras. So we had some extra and I had a chance to buy one. So I stuck one underneath the electronics counter to hold until the end of the day for me to purchase. So I was going about my day and doing my job and on break I had mentioned to somebody that I was working with about the camera and why I wanted to buy it and I haven't shared that with you guys yet but like I wanted to buy this camera when I was 19 years old back in 2007, 2008 ish because I wanted to start a YouTube channel. I wanted to film skits and other stuff and I wrote a lot back then and I wanted to film stuff that I wrote and it wouldn't have been perfect quality, but it would have been better than my cell phone because smartphones weren't as smart back then and I wanted to make like some decent quality stuff and put it online. So during that day I had a couple of conversations with a couple of different people and I had very similar feedback from all of them and it was all generic and generally negative for a multitude of reasons and not the least of which was they didn't quite understand why I wanted to do what I wanted to do because it wasn't their passion and it wasn't their dream and it wasn't their goal and they weren't necessarily being negative to be negative or they weren't being like a hater to be a hater or be mean they just didn't understand what my dreams or goals were they didn't line up with what theirs were and so being 19 at the time and being impressionable and I don't know, serving the purpose of other people for some reason, I decided that my $200 could be spent better elsewhere. And I put the camera back and I didn't buy it and I never started a YouTube channel until a year and a half ago. And now we're here and I'm glad that I started it when I did and I love the community that we have. You know, looking back on Black Friday now, I wonder like what could have been. and where like a YouTube channel would have been in 2008 with 19 year old Aaron starting it and filming skits and stuff like that. It could have never been anything or it could have been something or it could have been some weird middle ground. I don't know and I'll never know but I know that I'm proud of what I'm doing here now and I wish I would have started a long time ago. I could have gotten a lot better at filming stuff. I could have gotten a lot better at being in front of the camera and it just would have been good experience and it was my dream and my passion that I let go because of somebody else and that's not okay. And so I guess the point I'm trying to make here is that learning how to code is difficult. Like the journey to learning how to code is difficult enough on its own. There are going to be people who if you tell them that you want to get into programming are going to say that's silly. They might say it's silly or stupid because you're never going to be able to learn that stuff on your own because it's hard or they may say it's silly because you're not good at math or they may say it's silly because you're not the type of person who is a programmer and all of those reasons are completely invalid if you want to do it. If you want to do it and it's your dream and it's your passion and it's what you like really really want to do then it's not silly, it's important, and you should follow that. I just wanted to say that if you are surrounding yourself with people who are being negative about things, maybe let them know that like this is your dream, this is your like, it's like really important to you, and try to have them find the importance in it with you for yourself. And then if they don't, maybe it's time to not be around that person as much anymore. Anyways, I don't know, I just feel like if you have dreams and passions, you should follow them passionately and dream about them and not give up on them because of other people. I hope that makes sense. This is all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to hit that thumbs up button because they are super awesome and they make me smile. If you haven't already, please feel free to follow along in the journey. The subscribe button's down there, you know how to click it. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you guys again very soon.
Bye.